Next one is communication. The biggest mistake that I see made with communication is that founders will over rely on manual communication when that communication instead should be automated. So let me give you a textbook example of this. When we go in and we audit a client's businesses, most times we will see our founders spending anywhere between like four to six hours a day in meetings and in Slack, right? They're literally just talking all day, every day. They are talking. Their team is talking. Everyone's talking. And unfortunately, talking is one of the most expensive, costly things that you and your team can do. Time spent talking is not only time that you are paying for, but it is time not spent doing your job, generating revenue, closing clients, upselling clients, right? Doing the things that actually grow the business. So it's a double whammy. And so I see founders be really kind of laissez-faire with their talking of like, oh, we'll just have another meeting. Oh, I'll just follow up with them on Slack. Oh, we'll just spend hours and hours every day talking to each other. That is so expensive. It's so expensive. And the solution isn't to just talk less, right? Like magically, I'm just not going to talk to you. People still need to talk. It's automating that communication, which is what brings us into systems. Systems is pillar number five. The best systems automate communication. They take all of that chatter and they build it into a system where it says, you know, instead of asking you, hey, Dave, where are we at with that task? I can just assign you a task or I can check the update on that task and see where you're at with that task. Instead of saying, hey, what, uh, you know, what is the address for this client? I can just go to a system. I can go to a dashboard and I can find the address for the client, right? So the best systems minimize communication. And then the very last pillar, I'm really, and then we'll <laughs> interrupt me, please, Dave. Um, pillar number six is no, data. it's good. I'm, I'm just letting you go. We'll talk about it as we finish here. Okay, perfect. So data is pillar number six because it also arrives last. If you are doing 50K a month or less in your business, I wouldn't worry or focus on data. But as you get above 50K per month, 100K per month, and into the three to 500K per month range, that is when data becomes absolutely essential. Because what happens as you scale is that you as a founder start stepping back from the day to day. You start stepping back from the front line. You're, you're just no longer involved. I'm not talking to that client. My account manager is talking to that client. So I don't know if that client is happy or not. I don't know if that client is about to leave. I don't have any visibility into the front line of my business anymore. That is not only really dangerous when it comes to still trying to make the best decisions on behalf of your company, it's also just scary as hell. It feels like walking next to a cliff edge with a blindfold on. And so data is your way of taking the blindfold off so that you can still know what's happening without being personally buried in it. And that is totally essential for a founder who truly wants to empower their team, elevate out of the day-to-day -day weeds, and still make the best decisions that guide their company forward.